It says, how do I take my coffee? Seriously, very seriously. Nanny Joyce got me a new cup. As you can hear, I'm very nasally. But today, May 15th, I'm actually in the world again. And what we believe happened, not sure, but it makes sense. Um, last weekend, there was a lot of pine straw built up around the trees and we had it all raked out. But underneath it, obviously the previous owners had been doing this over many years and had done uh, basically composted down, turned to just dirt, just sticky dirt. And as I was trying to mow the straw that we raked till we can figure out how to get the dirt away from the trees, um, I stirred up some leaf mold is what we're thinking, pine mold. Because it was that Tuesday, last Tuesday, that I mowed. It was Wednesday morning. I woke up to, we didn't know, thought it was the flu. I ran fever for three days. But today, my eyes are not as watery as they have been. I can actually look down some without it, my head exploding. So it's all starting to drain and uh, I'm on my way to a full recovery, y'all. But that's what we're thinking. I ended up with a sinus infection. That was the diagnosis, sinus infection. So we know, well, we think we know where it came from. But today, May 15th, my mom passed 28 years ago today. Am I doing the math? Yeah, 28 years ago today. She passed on May 15th of 1994. Matter of fact, that was her and my dad's 50th wedding anniversary, May 15th. And I woke up this morning and I was reflecting back to that day. Looking back, it seemed like my life would never go forward. You know, I was young. I was 27, right at 28 years of age. And, you know, I'm still wet behind the ears. I still have to have lessons from mom, as we all do if we want to be honest, you know. Um, and I wasn't going to have that, but I had my dad another 10 years, and I was very blessed for that. But looking back, I remember saying, how do I move forward? Look at me 28 years later. Because I absorbed all that I could those first 28 years, 27 and a half years of my life with her. So I carried that forward. And yesterday, Buddy got a hold of our farmer, found him. He blessed us. So now we have purple hole peas. Ding. I think of my mom. We have okra now for the year. I think of my mom. And we have 25 pounds of Texas sweet onions. So I thought, okay, I haven't had any videos out this week. What would my mom tell me to do? Just show everybody what you're doing. So today is a day that I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna rejoice because if it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't know how to do what I'm about to do now. So I wanted to share this with you, then we'll walk out, we'll look at the garden, uh, Buddy's out there building more boxes. But first thing we're going to do is we got to get these onions cooking. I'm going to caramelize them and I'm going to process them. So I'll just go back and forth with you guys through this video. I'll put it all together and I will upload it. I'm not sure it will all upload this evening because of the onions. So what I may do is cut the video off finish the onions, and we'll come back and I'll post a part two so you can see from beginning to end. It just make it easier if I just do it all with you guys because there's a lot to show y'all that's been happening. I can't do it in five minutes. Y'all, I can't do no video in five minutes. Who am I kidding? So I'm gonna drop you down. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. It's very simple. Okay, all I'm doing is Peeling the onions, cutting them in half. I've got me a scrap bowl. This will go in the freezer, so when I make chicken stock, I'll have it. 
And all I do is, now some people chop, I don't. I like to julienne mine. And I do mine very, very thin. And then I'll come in and I'll break them up. It's just that simple, chunk it in the roaster. Now I'm using a six quart because I'm doing batches because I also have some jam um, that I've got to put up. I've got it outside thawing right now that I got from Deep South Homestead. It's, uh, I believe it was blackberry juice. I don't know where I got jam from. So we're gonna make some jelly too. Trying to clean out the freezer for this year. Okay, now let me show you something else. Look y'all, we're getting this about every morning. So Buddy got these this morning for me. Two bananas, four squash, cucumbers are starting to come on. So what I'll do is I'll wash the squash, flash freeze them like I showed you in a previous video, add them to our gallon bag. Actually, we're on our second gallon bag. All right, let me get these going. I'll show you what I set it on, and then we'll walk outside and look at the garden, see what Mr. Buddy's doing. Okay, I got it set on slow cook, which is about 225. This is a six quart roaster and I've added a stick of butter. We're just gonna cover it and we're gonna walk away. Okay, we're gonna walk out and see what Mr. Buddy has done in the garden. It's my first time out here, so we're both gonna see it together. Whoa, y'all. Hot dog. How long is that, about five feet? Six foot. I got a six foot gate, y'all. That's gonna be no, perfect, no. no? Take it back, I shortened it, it is five feet. Oh, he shortened, it's five feet. It looked like about five feet. I'll put that extra box and all in there, so. Five foot. Look at that. So now we're in the, capping the ends of these and start peeling them. All right, we're gonna turn around. We gotta work on the next row inside. Yeah, we're doing the inside. I gotta give y'all a little garden tour, as droopy as it is, but let's go ahead and go down this way. Okay, we're at the end, back where we started. The gate's right here. Ooh, it's hot. And I'm gonna show y'all uh, why I was concerned about these front beds right here. Remember me talking about it? Well, this is some eggplants Mr. Eddie gifted us. Now, they're, they're, they're struggling. There's some blooms coming on. And then here is uh, the cantaloupe. But as you can see, he's got soaker hoses that he's gonna install. Right now, we've got them on the top because, y'all, that one's almost gone. This is gone. But every plant, from tomatoes to peppers, we lost every one of them in this front bed, as I thought we would. And I'll show you these peppers. They have blooms on them. But this is what's happening, y'all, in the daytime. I want you to look at these. This is the bed that gets the sun. That's why I said if we can just, you know, survive these Abe Lincoln tomatoes, as well as the cucumbers. Now they get droopy, but they're they're doing they're doing fine. We have lots and lots of cucumbers. I pray that they all come in at one time, which I don't think that's going to happen. But I want to show y'all what we are getting now which I will eradicate. Can you see this? We don't want that. Let me see if I can catch you. Yeah, I got him. Oh, let me shrink y'all back in. There's a cucumber. There's one. The cucumbers are loaded, y'all. They are loaded. And they're trellising up just like I thought that they would. Tomatoes, 
all are doing good. Now I'm gonna show you what we fed these this morning, early morning. Well, he did. And we're harvesting, as I showed you previously in the kitchen, four to five squash a day. Ooh, look up in here. Ooh, I missed that. And these are those Italian paste. And this is what we took the uh, banana peppers off from earlier I showed you. Now, I want you to look at this is a young tomato that I got from Mr. Eddie. It's doing great. Y'all, it's in the shade. Basically, you can see what little sun. That's all the sun that this is getting from that bed all the way down. Ooh, look what I got here, guys. Okay. We got us some bell pepper coming on. Some more bell pepper. Where did he go? There it is. Now, we'll probably have to move this basil because it's getting too much sun. It's wanting to uh, bolt on me, but that's fine. I'll just cut it down and it'll be fine. So, we have learned that we will definitely have to shade cloth half the garden. And that's fine. Let's look up in here. Oop. There's a zucchini. I'm getting still about two cups of grated zucchini per one. There's some squash. It's loaded in squash, guys. See up in here? Oh, let's see. Let me get my hands. I don't want to stay out in the heat too, too long. I definitely don't want to relapse. There's some more squash. But they're loaded. And there's the zinnias. I will deadhead this one this evening. And I'm going to come down to this next node. Okay? See, there's one leaf. Oops. There's the flower. There's a leaf. See the double right here? Let me see. Right, right there. I'm going to cut it right here so it'll rebloom. The parsley is taken, but of course I've been, I've been trimming it and using it, but it's taken a heat. Y'all, this heat is something like I've never seen in all my life, and I'm afraid it's just going to get worse. I'm waiting for all the tomatoes to turn. Let's look up in here. Look at all of them. Now I only have one cherry tomato plant. That's really all that we need. The kids like these slicers. Oh, I'm sorry. I had my finger in the camera. Y'all know I don't do good at this. But I do give my best. Rosemary, oregano's doing good. Lemon balm. I mean, anybody can grow lemon balm. Okay, you see the lavender? It's holding on. The flowers are being spent, but the lavender is holding on. Do you remember that stick right there? I left it for us. I'm not so sure that time's gonna make it back. It must have really hit the core of it. The, the cool jalapenos. I've got to stake this. It's got blooms, lots. Oops, let me show y'all. Well, let me get down here. It's got a lot of peppers coming on. Well, if I can get my hand in here. But it's it is struggling. I want you to look at this one. I mean, it's limp as a noodle. And you can tell the squash. We're not even at 12 o'clock and it's shady. You see, there's not a lot of sun hitting this. But then if you look down here at these, see how they stand up? It's just too much heat, guys. And then here's Lippy's, what was I, eight weeks late planting potatoes? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I told y'all though, if we can make $4 worth of potatoes, it's a win-win. Now you can see they're starting to lay down. And I did heal them. 
but I'm gonna let them lay yellow two to three weeks before I even attempted harvesting. There you go. They're pitiful. They as pitiful today as they was when I tried to grow some smashed potatoes. But something tells me we're gonna get potatoes. Strawberries are doing great. No complaints, blooms everywhere. I do see strawberries. I, I'm not expecting a big yield at all, guys. You know, it takes two years. But look at this. Cantaloupe, doing great. This first time I've seen the loquat get limp. But hopefully by Tuesday, we'll have all the soaker hoses in place and that's going to help us tremendously. Now, let's see. This is what I want to show you. Okay, I'm taking you to the shade. This is what I feed. And I'll do this weekly. And as you see, there is no nitrogen in this. I'm not trying to grow the plants. I'm trying to give phosphorus for the root, and I'm also giving potash as a vitamin. And how I measure, I mean, don't do what I do, but I take a cap of this, and I stick it in the center of the bed, I waddle out a hole, and then I water it in thoroughly. Now, is that per direction on the bottle? Absolutely not. But this is how Lippy does it. But I told y'all I would show you the next step. And this is, and it's cheap, guys. You know, there's others out there. But when you have six, seven bottles of this, you use what you have. Okay, this is what I, I'm using on all of my fruit. I fed the strawberries. That was last Sunday. I will feed them again. Let's see, Sunday, Tuesday. Every 12 days, I'm gonna feed the strawberries. Every 12 days, I'm gonna feed my blackberries and my blueberries. When I was talking to y'all, my eyes glanced over. Look at my little hidden surprise. Probably in about two days, I get to harvest my first bell pepper. Well, there's the little short garden tour and update. I've got to go back in. I don't want to stay in the heat too long. I start, I don't know, I got a lot of drainage and it's the heat that's bringing it on. Mr. Buddy needs to stay in the shade. He needs to get him some water and cool down. Um, but I'll show you what we were blessed with. There's two. We'd like to get four to five more. Let me show you. Look at this. Two blueberries. Now that makes me feel happy. Because remember I told y'all, oh, it doesn't feel bad underneath this tree. I think I'll stay right here. <laughs> um, I'm back in the kitchen. See, what was I do? Oh, I was doing the caramelized onions. onions. That's right. It's been probably three hours. So let's go in there and we're going to look at how well they're doing let's see what else have i done oh i gotta show you what else i've done because the kids are gonna come to see mama and papa this evening and i'm also making jelly i had got a gallon of blackberry juice when i went down to danny and wanda's at deep south homestead so since i'm staying in the ac till i'm completely well i said why not go ahead and put the jelly up Ooh, look at the watermelon but that's not what i wanted to show y'all let me ease it up. I've got to wait till it gels, and then we're gonna put a topping on it. I, will, I'm, I can't do heavy whipping cream. Grandkids don't like it, so they're gonna get just Cool Whip. You know, the stuff in the tub. But doesn't that look good? Oh my, we have a number two pie. I feed a crowd, y'all. See how they have cooked down already in just three hours? They're starting to get some marks on them. 
see, some charred marks, and that's what you want. We got a long ways to go. Oh, let's look at these. I see. Oh, look at that. All right. All right. Oh, did y'all see me? I just threw some. All right, I mean, y'all get happy. Okay, this is where I'm going to end the video. Tomorrow, we will start back with the onions, and I'll show you how I process them. But I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek. It's been about six hours now. So I'll show you what they look like before I ever put the spoon to them. And then Monday, it'd be Monday morning, video post Monday afternoon, and we'll put them all up. I'm curious to see how many I can get. And I just stirred it. Hang on. Okay. I mean, I almost messed up. Look at all the juice. See how they have cooked down? And I'm gonna let these go overnight and then turn the camera on and you and I will look at them together in the morning. So there you go. I gotta get supper going. We've got some smoked sausage, chicken that's gonna go on the grill. We're gonna have a salad on the side. So, and a tomato, didn't come from my garden, but it came from a garden. <laughs> hey, you gotta get it where you can get it, right? But until next time, as always, stay safe, Stay well, y'all. You hear me? I sound like a frog. And as always, God bless. See you in the morning.